Hi, I'm Bree Johnson, and we're gonna work on some hip stability and mobility combo. It's gonna be amazing, and it's one of my favorite ways to get that mobility in your hips while working on amazing stability in and around your hip joint, glutes, quads, legs, everything. Now, what we're gonna do with that is, if you had done the pelvic list exercise previously, then you'll know what to do. And if you haven't done the pelvic list exercise, I recommend going back to that video, watching the tutorial, and then coming back to this. So I'll quickly run through the pelvic list to start though, and then we'll go from there. So what we're gonna do is stand with the feet pelvis width apart, shift your weight over onto your right foot. And as you do that, instead of letting your pelvis pop over to the side, you're going to bring it in. So that in movement is really the outer edge of your right hip, the right side of your pelvis sliding down, sliding down over, trying to get a sense that it's going over top of your ankle and in toward your body. So it's down and in. You'll likely start to feel the musculature out on the side of your hip and butt wake up. So then when you feel that, you know you're doing it right. And then from that position, we're going to take our left knee up like so, externally rotate the knee and then place your ankle on top of your thigh. Now I'll show it from the side here and I recommend having a wall nearby, especially if this is the first time that you've done it. Now, when I'm in this position here, it's easy to let my hip poke, poke out to the side again. So I'll show that here. So we really wanna watch that we're not letting the hip come out. So that's where that pelvic list comes in, pulling your outer hip in and back. Now the next piece of this is that this knee is gonna to try to stay over top of my ankle. I'm not gonna let my knee move forward. Instead, I'm gonna shift my hips back so that my knee is over top of my ankle and my shin is as vertical as I can make it. Now look down, look down at the outer right hip. Did it start popping out? Again, pull it back. Starting to feel that lateral hip musculature, everything behind you start to wake up. Now the next version of this movement is that you're start, going to start to go down and I'm going to lower down and I'm going to lower down only as far as I can keep my knee over my ankle. So my knee's not going to travel forward like that. Keep my knee over my ankle, lower down, lower down. So again, you're going to have to work really hard to keep that louder hip in. Breathe. I'm going to show that from the front here. Lateral hip in. You can try this with your balance like so, good, good. So sometimes this is also called, we'll switch sides. Sometimes this is also a standing variation of pigeon pose, a very active pigeon pose. So let's go to the other side. Let's shift the weight onto your left foot. Feel the left outer hip slide down and in, bringing your right foot off the floor. Your pelvis will not be level. You'll let your pelvis hike up a little bit, but that's only because you're sliding the left side of your pelvis down over your ankle and in toward the midline. Then bring your right knee up, externally rotate, place your ankle onto your leg, just above your knee. Now, again, you want to make sure you don't lose that outer hip strength. So pull your hip in and out, and then keeping your knee over top of your ankle start to lower slowly down, slowly lower down. I'll show it from the side again so that my knee is over top of my ankle. I'm shifting my hips back. So I'm asking all of these muscles to work to hold me up while I come down. You can also do this with a wall in front of you or a counter in front of you as well, right? A chair, anything that will give you that extra bit of support. Good, keep pulling, look down at your hip, keep pulling the outer hip in, lowering only as slow as you can to keep that stability and strength. So you can do it with a light touch at the wall or a chair or anything in front of you. You can work on your balance, hold it, and then slowly come up. Ah, so good. You'll really start to see that difference between stability and mobility. You're creating stability in the hip joint while mobilizing the opposite one. So that's the standing number four stretch. Do it daily. It's an amazing one. I hope you enjoyed it.